Hello and welcome. Today we're working on doing horizontal analysis on an income statement. Now if you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We're teaching the accounting sequence, the principles of accounting sequence. We're in chapter 13, financial statement analysis. So we have articles, videos, playlists. So check it out. Horizontal analysis. If you're given an income statement, you have to have two years to do horizontal analysis. And we're going to go across. We're going to say, how much did sales increase? Well, to do the percentage change, here's our formula. Take the ending, so year, in this case, 2023, the most current year. Subtract out the beginning, which is 2022 in this case, divided by the beginning number. In fact, let's do this first. Let's take the ending, the 383, minus the beginning. And that would give us the dollar amount. And, and that's helpful, but it's not... Um, helpful because $11 billion, is that good or bad or whatever? Obviously, you'd like sales to go up, but it may not be that large of number in terms of a percentage. So a percentage is going to be better, so we want to know the percentage change. So I'm going to wrap this in brackets here, and then divide by the beginning number, the 394. All right, so here we need to do this as a percent. Let's give ourselves a couple of decimal places. And now let's just copy this all the way down. All right, now one way to manage this is we've done this and we don't want to just say, okay, finished, I've completed horizontal analysis on the income statement. What we want to do is provide a little bit of analysis and, and just see if anything is going to be a, a bigger number than that's maybe than is normal in this one. So we want to look at the largest numbers, the plus percentages, and the negative numbers that are negative percentages. So let's highlight this entire column, and let's go on the home ribbon. Let's go to conditional formatting, and let's do uh, color scales. And on the color scales, let's do where we have green, white, and red. And what will happen is the numbers that are the largest will be green, and that's maybe good. Here, uh, it could be an expense, so we'll see how this works. And then if you have the negative numbers, this is a big deal, but what happens is our taxes went from 19 billion down to 16 billion. That may not be a bad thing, but let's just look at the big numbers. Now, any number that is larger or smaller will have more shade to it. So you can see this one, 13.9%. So we probably only want to look at a couple of things on this one that are maybe bigger than 10% or something like that. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.